Okay, so I'm going to do intro to place. I'm going to show you with Carter. So I'm using some moist food treats. So you want it to be um, enough of a motivator for her. And she likes these. These are um, just moist rollover. Come on. Come on. Good. I'm waiting for her to sit before giving her the reward. I say good as a verbal marker. So what I'm doing is I'm saying place, I'm saying good, and I'm saying break. Break and good are the verbal markers. I'm marking the desired behavior I want from her. Place is the obedience command, okay? Place. Good. She's a puppy, so she's going to learn. It's going to take her a little bit longer than an adult dog, okay? Right. Good. Right. So you just do this with lots and lots and lots of repetition over and over and over again, very fast. I want her on and off, on and off, on and off, super fast for her to understand the commands. If she goes on there automatically by herself, that's great, but it's not what I asked her, so I'm going to ask her to come off again. And I'm going to point and say, place, place. Good. Break. So again, speed. I want her to learn this fast, fast, fast before I start adding duration to it and before I add distractions, okay? We have minimal distractions right now. Come on. Distractions, I mean, like, you know, a dog walking past, a squirrel walking past or doing something like that. Place. Good. Roll it back. Break. So it's place, good, break. Place, good, break. Nice and fast. So I teach speed, duration, then distractions. That's the order I teach in, okay? Place. Good. And she's got nice eye contact, which is awesome. Break. And I'm just using a regular slip lead with a carabiner on it. Place. And break. So I do like about 20 repetitions and I finish. Okay?